So in the last video, we created a button and we made it display something to the Android monitor. And you can see it here, it says on click ASDF. And if we come up here, we can see it says on click ASDF. Now that's not very useful, so let's go down to the next line and let's create a little message. So toast, um, it's called a toast message in, in uh, Android Studio. Um, we could do a snack bar, but we'll do, we'll do that later. There's also, yeah, there is snack. We'll do a toast. So let's do toast dot make text. And as you can see, it's automatically suggesting that for me. I can just, so a lot of times you can put like toast or snack bar or whatever, put a dot, and then it'll automatically fill it in for you. And it'll tell you what parameters it takes. So what goes inside of it? A context, we're gonna type main activity dot this. And if we put a comma, we can see, oh, now it's taken uh, some text. So let's do welcome. And when we put a comment, and now it's saying, hey, we need a duration. So let's do toast dot length. And we see we have short and long. We'll go with short, because why not? Then we'll close the parenthesis out. Then we'll do dot sh and then show. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're saying, hey, we we'll get the button. Every time the button is clicked, do what's inside of here. What's inside of here is we'll display it to the log cat and we'll get rid of that because we don't want that anymore. So once it so on click, every time it's clicked between right here, all that code will be executed. So basically this says toast, and toast is a, like I said earlier, it's a it's a little message at the bottom of your screen dot make text. When we pass in uh, context, you'll be using this a lot. A little message will say welcome. The length for how long you want the message to show. Should it show for 20 seconds, for a million seconds, for two seconds? Um, there's short and there's long. Um, I just do short. And then we need to call a method on this called show. So I'm going to save it and run it with Control R. And I'm going to go to my Android emulator. I'm going to see if this works. So click on button and it says welcome. So that's how you can make, create a button that does something. In the next video, what we'll probably do is we'll change this out for a snack bar, which is a newer, it's a newer library. Um, for, I think it's, it's, it's newer. Um, it's more common now for newer apps to have that. But um, let's call this, we'll, uh, I'm gonna change it. So I'm gonna go up to the top and double, first we'll get rid of, we don't need that anymore. See where it says great button? I'm gonna double click on that, do shift f6 and call it m button and enter and that'll that'll change all the names for it so m button there m button there m button there and m button is kind of putting an, putting an m before uh, a variable name is a common practice in android so you'll see that a lot i'm going to save it run it go back to my emulator and there it closes and it opens back up hit the button it says welcome I can hit it again and it says welcome again and again and again I can just hit the button and it says welcome. So that's how you create a button that actually does something in Android Studio like I said earlier. In the next video we'll probably use a snack bar to do that and we'll do some other stuff in the next video. So catch me in the next video. I'll see you then.